Ah yes, Thomas Edison, one of the greatest minds to have ever existed. He's known as many things, like an inventor, an animal abuser, and a thief. Wait, did you just say Thomas Edison, famous science man, was an animal abuser and a thief? Yes, Timmy. Yes, I did. Everyone knows him as the genius who created the light bulb, but in reality was a huge a-hole that didn't create the light bulb, stole patents, abused animals, and was just a huge piece of doo-doo in general. The year is 1880, and Thomas Edison just patented the first commercially available light bulb. However, at the time, there wasn't a way to send electricity to the homes, so commercially available light bulbs were essentially useless. Thomas Edison's solution? DC power. His plan was to create a small power plant at each block to send power out. However, the DC power generators were extremely flawed and often broke down. So, Edison took one of the scientists that worked under him at the research lab to fix the generators. He chose Tesla. N no, not that Tesla. Nikola Tesla. One of Edison's newly hired scientists. Edison was too stupid to figure out how to fix them, and decided to leave the seemingly impossible task to Tesla. He even offered Tesla a $50,000 bonus, which is about $1.3 million today. Oh, and let me provide you with some juicy context. So, Tesla was basically fresh off the boat and could be classified as an official broke boy. So you know this man was extra desperate for the bag. Give or take a few months and the guy actually did it. He fixed all of the gens and walked up to Edison like, Alright, I'm broke as hell, I fixed all of your generators, can I get some money? Oh, uh, yeah, how much was it again? 50,000. F- 50,000? Uh, I said that? Uh... Yup, and I just bought a new PS5, so I really need the money now. Uh, <laughs> I was just joking about the 50,000. What What do you mean? I just spent the last few months fixing your generators. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't seem to understand the American sense of humor. <laughs> you American piece of shit. So, other than Tesla beating Edison into mush, the rest of the story is true, and is why Tesla decided to leave Edison. But don't you worry, Tesla ain't done yet. When Tesla left, he was no longer bound to using DC power. He was as free as a butterfree leaving Metapod's cocoon. He looked at Edison's DC power and was like, this is stupid. And so he made AC power, or alternating current. Edison's virgin DC power moved along a power line in a single direction, but could only last for about a mile, until it completely faded out. But Tesla's Chad AC power periodically changed directions, allowing it to go for hundreds of miles compared to Edison's measly one. Tesla's AC power was eventually seen by George Westinghouse, a millionaire entrepreneur, and was like, <laughs> Yes. Westinghouse basically sponsored Tesla, backing him up with the money he needed to popularize AC power. Westinghouse and Tesla teamed up against Edison and his DC power. And so began the War of the Currents to decide which power was better. The winner would have their power used globally and make millions. Between Tesla's AC power and Edison's DC power, the final battle came during the World Fair, where Tesla won a patent battle over Edison, allowing him to light the World Fair instead of Edison. This was Tesla's chance. It was his chance to show the world that his power was superior to Edison's. Up until this point, there is no streetlights, ceiling light bulbs, no anything. There is only things like candles, so when Tesla made the World Fair look like Vegas, the entire world went crazy. When Edison saw this, he was angrier than me when I loosened Ness and Smash. Absolutely heated. In fact, Edison was so heated that he lost that instead of trying to find something better than AC power, he just decided to straight up cancel Tesla altogether. First, Edison published pamphlets of AC power being supposedly dangerous. When that didn't work, he went to the streets of New York where he publicly executed dogs, cats, and even an elephant with AC power to try to prove that it was dangerous. He even went as far as inventing the electric chair to try and convince people that AC power could kill you. But the truth was that AC power wasn't dangerous when it wasn't being used to torture innocent animals. In fact, DC power could have done the same thing. It's a crap ton of electricity. It doesn't matter if it's AC, DC, BC, or whatever. Electricity is electricity. That shit real hurdy. Edison was just trying to make Tesla look like a bad guy to essentially cancel him and his power. But Edison's efforts didn't do anything. Tesla's AC power only became more popular. And to this day, we still use the basic ideas given to us by Tesla. Well, that's the end of the story.
Earlier in the intro, I called Edison a thief because he stole patents and whatnot, and just was an all-around terrible person. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this video. But I do plan to make a part 2 going over why Edison was even more a piece of doo-doo butter. So stay tuned for that. If you guys did find this video interesting, then a like and comment would be really appreciated. But anyways, with that, as always, thank you for watching until the very end, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.